What's going on YouTube? It's Kevin from KT Music Group bringing you another reaction video. All right, this reaction video request which comes from Gary Berry. And Gary Berry wants me to react to uh, Down on the Corner by Credence Clearwater. All right, I looked up a couple song facts and uh, it's gone double platinum. All right, uh, the genre is rock and roll. And uh, yeah, and it's been uh, sampled multiple times, uh, including being sampled by uh, Bo Diddley and the Beastie Boys. All right, I've never heard it before, so it's the first time hearing from me. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. So without further ado, let's get into it. Y'all know what to do. Check out the merch. Leave a reaction request. Also, if you haven't already, subscribe to my Smooth Jazz Funk reaction channel right here. All right, we're back. Without further ado, let's get into uh, Down on the Corner by Credence Clearwater Revival. Credence Clearwater Revival, my fault. This is live on the Ed Sullivan Show. Please don't get blocked. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> He's silly. I think I may have heard this on the radio before. Uh, it's still the first time hearing because I'm not sure. That doom 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 boom 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 ba doom doom. Seemed like I heard that before. Maybe it's because of the Beastie Boys. Uh, my, my brother had got all the hip hop albums. Had all the hip hop albums, tapes, albums and tapes back then, back in the day. Um, is there a, a, a close correlation between rock and roll and country music? It seems it's got a country feel to it to me. Tell me what y'all think in the comments. I just got a smile. Think it's on to good face. Head and shoulders for a while. Four more twang the rhythm out. On in Kalamazoo. Will it goes into a dance. Doubles on Kazoo. Down on the corner. Out in the street. Okay. Hey. Uh, all right. Also, Gary Berry wants me to explain, to break down the difference between the bass guitar rhythm guitar and lead guitar all right uh bass guitar is uh you see the uh the bass man with the glasses on he's closest to me he usually plays the lowest notes in the song you know doom doom man in fact I, I play bass i play bass all right this is a bass this is a bass guitar usually it's four string it can be five or six string but it carries the lowest notes on the register uh but it doesn't go as low as an 88 note keyboard all right or piano all right it plays the bass notes like doom 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 the rhythm guitar is basically doing a similar sound to the uh the keyboards all right uh to the keyboards holding chords except it doesn't exactly always hold chords it can hold chords like Low, why the bass is going? Doom, 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 doom. The rhythm guitar could be usually going. It's, it's almost like a, uh, it's almost like another percussion instrument, all right. But it's also holding the chords, so they really could play the song without a keyboard, and the rhythm guitar alone would be fine. And uh, there are a lot of hit records like that. No keyboards, rhythm guitar doing the keyboard type chord structure, but they adding that 
they add in that percussive, the percussive sound a little bit. The lead guitar is usually lead. You can substitute uh, the word solo for lead. Probably later on in the song, there'll be a solo where you get that rock and roll. When you think about lead guitar, think about Prince and Purple Rain. All right? And I'm sure they're going to do a solo here. So those are the difference between the bass guitar, the low notes, the rhythm guitar, playing the chords in kind of a syn syncopated style. And the lead guitar is going to do the solo notes, which probably will be coming later. All right, let's keep going. Right now, they're both playing rhythm. That was a good example of the uh, rhythm. Uh, your rhythm guitar. You don't need a pin just to hang around. Bass If you got a nickel, won't you lay your money down? Over on the corner, there's a happy noise. People come from all around to watch the magic boy. Down on the corner, out in the street. Bass man. Now, I've always wanted to learn rhythm guitar, but I'm going to have time. Hey, I'm about to do the Ed, interview with Ed Sullivan. I do, I do want to clear something up. It's, and a rhythm guitar and a lead guitar, they're not different instruments. It's just different styles of play. All right, if that makes any sense. All right. Nah, I know it makes sense. Y'all know, know what I'm saying. They didn't solo in this song, so you didn't really hear a lead guitar. They, they actually had two rhythm guitars in this song. All right. Wonderfully, you have these fellas on the show. Where do you all go from here? Well, we're going to go back home to San Francisco. Fine. Well, you have a safe trip back home. Thank you. Tell them how more little know. Hey, Sullivan was a man back in the day. That we all of New York enjoyed you, <laughs> and all the country enjoyed you. Thank, Thank you. you very, very much. Thank you. And have a safe trip. Yeah, back in the day, you want exposure all over the country. There was no YouTube. Right now, anybody can go viral if you if you're entertaining enough, funny enough tragic enough if you get injured bad enough or you know uh any of that all right there's got to be something that grabs people's attention but anyway back then the only way to get exposure we're talking 1969 for this record was the radio uh for the most part ed sullivan or, the, or johnny carson the, the late night, the late show, late night. Johnny Carson back then, and Soul Train, American Bandstand. Those were the ways uh, to get seen nationally. All right. Uh, so, an average person, you can have independent because of the internet. Everybody go uh, independent now, and just like I'm doing, you know, you we, we having conversations that never could have been had back in 1969. All right. So, it's a double platinum. So, uh, it's been multiple sampled. I mean, more than over 20 artists have sampled this song. So, for for that alone, plus the sound, it it sounds familiar, but I I can't place it. So I can't say that I've heard it before. But I'm gonna give it two thumbs up because uh, good music is good music. I thought it was gonna be more heavy metalish. You know, that's what rock and roll in my mind means, like heavy metal. But I like the way. Um, yeah, that that seemed like a blend of country and rock to me. All right, all right, y'all know what to do. Check out the merch, leave a reaction request. And as I always like to say, good music is in the ear of the beholder. Great music is timeless. All right, uh, double platinum. Don't get any more timeless than that. And um, and the band, I think, they they went from 1959, Clearwater Revival, to 1972. And that was it. They never, you know, According to the research I've done, they never got back together and done any shows later. If they have and y'all know something, let me know in the comments. Till the next time, y'all take care. Peace. <laughs>